Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Bukhosi Kupe channel. I'm your host, Basimane Bukhopane, a.k.a. Mighty Anape. Today, we continue where we left off and we bring you Ancient Egyptian Astronomy, a Setswana Sustitu Perspective, Part 3. Yes, this is going to be exciting, sweet and short, straight to the point, no manga manga business as we say in Zanzi. And we're going to be talking about the Herdsman constellation or otherwise known as Bote's constellation. All right. If you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. I believe it's the red button. Is it red? Yes, it's red. And we're talking red today. And uh, please make sure that you share our content with other people who may be interested, who have never heard about Bokosi Kupe, because right here at Bokosi Kupe, you will get information that you've never come across anywhere else. You will hear and you will see with your own eyes ancient Egyptian knowledge from the Batwana Basutu perspective that you've never heard or seen anywhere else. We promise, it's a guarantee. Here we go. Now let's jump right into it. Actoris, Constellation Botes, the Herdsmen. That's what we're discussing today. In linguistics, or in hieroglyphs, it is expressed as NR, and it is uh, transliterated or translated as Herd, simply a constellation, okay? And you have the, the consonants N and R, N35 and D21, as the transliteration, okay? For all these glyphs, for all one, two, three, four, five, you, you probably maybe a bit more, but I chose these five. Okay. And what do they mean? Of course, uh, the linguists do not tell you what these mean, but we will tell you here at Bokosi Kupe. Here, this NR refers to the color of a bull, right? This is a bull. You will find this in hieroglyphs that this NR is translated or trans translated as bull. But this is the same uh, hieroglyphic uh, group, right? NR. One instance is just a uh, herd, a constellation, and another instance is bull. But what does that mean? It means red and white pattern of a bull. It is the color of a bull, not just simply bull, as they say, uh, or linguists say. So I call that bull, not in a literal sense, but I call it bull. For them to just simply say, uh, or translate and say this word means bull. No, it doesn't mean bull. It means red and white pattern of a bull, okay? That's what Nala means, it's a color. All right, and then of course, uh, Nala by NR by itself, her, her constellation is the color itself, red and white, all right? But it also means abundance. That's another meaning. Let's go further. Now that we understand what and R in this regard means or what it stands for. Now that we understand, let's look at that. It is this color, this particular uh, type of color in um, bulls or cows, right? It's Nala, red and white. These patterns, white and red or red and white, they are called Nala. In Setswana Susut. Then with vultures, 
Nala is the same thing, red and white. Why? Egyptian vultures normally have white feathers, but many bathe in red mud. Okay, there's the source right there. I posted it here. This comes from the Daily Mail uh, science tech article. Okay, scientists baffled vultures use mud like makeup. All right, I'm sure our ancestors understood this very well. They were not baffled by anything. So, our ancestors used the color uh, of these vultures, you know, after they, of course, so they, they, they gained this color from bathing in mud, and it, they look like this, red and white. And they also used the color of the, you know, the bull, red and white, Nala, okay, to refer to a specific thing that they observe within the constellation of Boetis, Boetis, okay, specific thing. What is it that they observe? Hmm, I wonder if they had telescopes back then. Uh, nobody has been able to show that they had telescopes, so how did they figure this out? Arcturus is a red giant star in the northern hemisphere of Earth sky and the brightest star in the constellation Boetis. So, the, there's the source. And um, so, in Western uh, astronomy, they look at this and they say it is red. But to the ancestors of Botswana and Basutu, no, this is not red. Okay? This is red and white. Why? Because of the white patches that you see right there. Right patches. Okay? Right patches. White patches. So, our ancestors, in observing this constellation of Botes, they used the star Arcturus to designate this uh, this region with um, the star Arcturus and called it Nala. There you have it, uh, good people. We shared with you something that you have never come across before, you have never heard before anyway, but only here on Bohosi Cooper channel. All right, we are not boasting or anything, but we take pride in what we do. And we take pride in what our ancestors are revealing to us and showing us and teaching us. And we are happy to share it with you. Okay? And uh, we do not engage in, uh, you know, in arguments about who the ancient Egyptians were. We just strictly stick to the language. And the language will speak for itself. With that said, we'll see you next time with another great uh, presentation.